Hello, lovely to see you. So today we're going to be learning pulled string art together. I'll show you a few examples here. Now they look really um, complicated, I think. They look like really complicated paintings, but in fact they're really simple to do. So I'll talk you through step by step how we do these. Do different sizes as well, okay? So if I pop those over here. Now for today's tutorial, we're going to need um, from your craft box, you'll find some paper. You'll also find this random piece of string. So we'll need that for this project. Some black watercolour paint, a paintbrush, a small uh, pot just to put your paint into. And then additionally, we'll need a piece of cardboard um, about the same size as your piece of paper, okay, it can be a bit smaller though, and we'll also need to cut your string just some scissors. So in terms of the cardboard, I've got an empty cereal packet here of Cheerios, so all I'm going to do is to cut a section of this out, because I need that thick piece of cardboard and you'll see why in a bit. So again, about the same size as my piece of paper. So I'll get cutting on that now. What we need now is to put a little bit of the black watercolour paint into your pot. So just put a little bit in here. It's already on my hand. You can always give your hands a wash after this one. So I'm going to put a little dab in there. And then I'm just going to go and get a little bit of water, literally just a drop or two, to water this paint down. So I'll just go and do that now. Okay, so I really, I've literally just put a drop or two, you can see right at the bottom of there. Don't put too much water in as it'll come out really faint. And then I'm going to give it a mix around so that you create a black paint, which you can use full string art with. So you can see now, okay? And then what we need is we need our piece of string. So I have my piece of string here. I've cut it so it's about arm's length, but you can decide how long you want it. I wouldn't do it too short though, and you'll see why in a minute, because you need to go round quite a few times to get a flower. So I'm going to pop the string into here. Now you might need your paintbrush to help you with this. So I'm just going to push it in and what this is doing now is the string is soaking up this watercolour paint. So let's just put that all in. Now we need the top, we don't, we don't need to get the, uh, the top inky at all because we're going to be holding the top. So once that's done, I need a sheet of paper. Okay. And then either another sheet of plain paper or you can use scrap paper. If you use just the plain paper, then you'll end up getting two images. You'll see why in a little bit, but you can use scrap for the second one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of string and pull it out. Now, if there are any lumps in it, we need to make sure those are gone. So we need to make sure it's been mixed really well. There aren't any lumps in here. If there were, you could just get your paintbrush and just smooth it out. And then we're going towards the top of the paper for the flower. So I'm just going to pop this down very slowly, going in circles. Don't worry if it doesn't go right the first time, it does take a little bit of practice. So I'm just going round in circles. I'm just doing a small flower here. And then I need to make sure we still have the stem coming down. And then what we do is we're going to place the other piece of paper on top of the flower, but still making sure there's a little bit of the stem sticking out at the bottom. So lay that down. And then we're going to lay the cardboard down on top. And we're going to push down with one hand as hard as you can whilst pulling out the string with the other. So you may like to stand up for this bit, so I'm going to push it down and you want to hear a squeaky sound. I'm pulling it straight towards me. You 
Your hands may get a little bit inky, but that's okay. You can give them a wash after. Okay. There we go. I'm going to remove the cardboard. And there we have our two flowers. So you can see, because this was placed like so, this was further up. So this was therefore further down the page. So you can position it where you would like. So I've got two copies here. Now with one of them, I think what I'll do is I'll do a few paint splatters. You can see in this one here that I did, a little bit of paint splattering almost looks like pollen. So all you do for that is dip your paintbrush in the ink, pop it near the paper, but not on the paper. And then you may get a little bit messy, so be careful what's around you. But we're just going to flick the top of the paintbrush onto your paper. So just a few of these. I'm not going overboard. I'm just doing a few little flicks until I'm happy. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now I've finished with this one, I'm going to show you another technique. So this one was lots of circles to create this flower. I'm going to show you one which is like a wiggle all the way down the page. So I'll keep these safe. They don't take long to dry these ones actually, which is good. So I'm going to get another sheet of plain paper. Again, I'm just going to use the same string that I've used and I'm just going to dip it in the black paint again. Oop, it might have dried out a little bit so it might be a little bit more stiff the second time. And again, just make sure there are no lumps. Ah, so sometimes it might be pulled out and it looks a bit like this. So in that case, you just want to get your paintbrush and just straighten it out a little bit. You might want to pop it back in the pot. Just hold down one end whilst you pull the other end. You can always try and pop your paintbrush in to get it out. It can be quite fiddly sometimes. There we go, make sure there are no lumps in it. And then we're going to go down the page this time. So you might even need to stand up for this bit because the string is quite long. So I'm going to go, uh, well, I might go big at the top and then smaller as I get down. So I'm going to wiggle my way along. Wiggle, get smaller as I go down. like so, okay, and then I'm going to put over, I'm actually going to put a scrap piece of paper, piece of paper over this time, um, I don't mind it's got a bit of a mark on, um, so I'm going to put a scrap piece of paper over the top, making sure I can still see the string at the bottom, then my piece of cardboard, pop that on, push down, if you want to hear that squeaky sound, we're always pulling in one direction towards us, there we go. It is quite stiff to pull it out, so you need to balance it between how hard you can pull and how much you push down on here. So I'm going to carefully lift this up. And there we go. That's this one here. Now I might like to draw a little stem in here. I can add some leaves as well. I'll show you how to do leaves. So we're going to need a shorter piece of string for the leaves, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off here. Okay, so I've got this much, and then I think my leaf is going to go better on the one I did before without the splatters, so I'm going to do it on this one here, and I'm going to, as always, dip it in my paint, make sure it's got no lumps in, and then just want to make a little almost oval shape. So I'm going to pop it down at the side and then like so. And then I'm going to do exactly the same as what I did with all the others. I'm going to, in this case I'm going to put a scrap piece of paper on top. Then my piece of cardboard, 
or my cereal packet, whatever you've used. Pop that down on top, push down hard, pull again in the same direction, downwards. A bit shorter this time. And there we go. I've got my leaf here. So I really hope you've enjoyed um, this little tutorial. Um, really have a play, have fun with the shapes, experiment. If it doesn't go right one time, it really doesn't matter. Um, just have fun playing and seeing what shapes you can create. If you then want to add um, other bits and pieces to your painting, then you can. You could add bumblebees or dragonflies or anything else that you'd like. They might not even want to be flowers. You might choose that they're actually something else. Um, but I'll leave that to you to experiment with this. So at the end, I would recommend straight away washing up your little pot and your paintbrush and your string just so that doesn't go rigid. Um, it's so much easier clearing it up straight away before it all dries, as well as your workspace. So it's very quick to pack away, very quick to get out. Um, and then you can pop it back in your craft box once you've done so you can get it out another time. So anyway, I hope you really enjoyed creating and I will see you soon for the next tutorial.